Rumble stuff. Scarlet Witch will join in work for Kang in Avengers Secret Wars. Let's see what the Cosmic Wonder has to say about this and check this out. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and if this major plot point of the Kang Dynasty actually happens, it is going to be incredibly exciting amazing, astonishing, whatever you want to call it. It is going to be fantastic. However, on the other hand, this might piss some Wanda fans off. It looks like the Scarlet Witch isn't done. Even Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios himself, teased that, of course, she was still alive. He said, if you look really closely, when the mountain falls on top of her, you can see a little red light go out. And then he said that's all he is going to say. But basically, he confirmed she's alive, and yes, she's going to be returning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which, of course, makes sense. I mean, let's face it, she is the Scarlet Witch. She can handle herself, and she can handle a mountain falling on top of her. I mean, she killed the entire Illuminati, and she already had some rubble fall on her, and she was fine. We don't know where she is right now, but it's looking like she could be a villain once again in the MCU. And in the Kang Dynasty, it's looking like she's going to be fighting not against Kang, but for and with Kang. Fighting against all of the other heroes, which again, might make some fans mad that Wanda is still going to be the villain. But this actually makes perfect sense, and we'll explain why in this video. But if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. And if you subscribe and leave a comment on our videos, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, and some DC items as well. We pick a winner at the end of each month, and the winner picks one item. So, like I mentioned, there is a plot rumor going around that states Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, could be fighting with and for Kang in the Kang Dynasty. And if we think about this for a second, it makes perfect sense. Because what was Wanda trying to accomplish in Multiverse of Madness? What was the whole thing about? Wanda trying to get her kids back. Specifically, she wanted to use the powers of America Chavez to multiverse jump to go to a different universe and get her kids in a universe where they're alive and well. And she needed America Chavez to do this because she herself did not have the ability to multiverse travel. She had to even dreamwalk to follow them throughout universes. But she wasn't really there. She wasn't going to another universe. She was simply jumping into the consciousness of another Wanda in another universe. But mm -hmm. Kang, Kang the Conqueror, the controller of time, has the ability to multiverse travel. He has the technology to do so. It's not magic. It's not witchcraft. It is literally technology that Kang could give to Wanda. So there are actually a few ways that Kang could help Wanda get her kids back. And some of it doesn't even really involve multiverse traveling. However, of course, that is one way. Kang could teach Wanda how to multiverse jump without using the dark hold, without using any type of her magic, or any other way. It could literally just be tech. A device that she wears on her arm or a suit but Kang has. Or, of course, a time chair. Whatever it may be, Kang can teach her how to do it and give her the technology to do so so she can jump to another universe and get her kids. Now, it seemed like she learned a little bit from Multiverse of Madness, so maybe she jumps to another universe in which the kids don't actually have a mom, but Wanda is dead in that universe. That way, she's not actually taking the children from another Wanda, robbing Wanda of her kids in another universe, but instead, she's giving her kids a mother that they didn't have, and she's finally getting her kids back. However, that is not the only way. Of course, Kang controls time. It's not all about multiverse jumping, but you mm -hmm. can time travel in the same timeline. Yes, it does create branch timelines, but the TVA can take care of that. And I doubt Wanda is even going to care. I mean, she didn't really care about killing a bunch of sorcerers or the entire Illuminati in a different universe. I doubt she cares about making branch timelines. But Kang could teach her how to simply travel back in time. And Kang even mentioned this in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania when he was talking to Janet Van Dyne. He said, time isn't what you think. And he even told Janet that he could take her back in time and make it to where she never left her daughter alone. I told you, time isn't what you think. I can make it. But you never left her. If he can do this for Janet, then he can do it for Wanda. And he can teach Wanda how to do it. That way she could go back in time and maybe just simply 
take her children out of the timeline. That way, when Wanda undoes the spell, perhaps they stay with her. And that way, she would actually be their original mom. She wouldn't be replacing another Wanda from another universe. So all the moments that she had with them may remain to be real. They're still hers, and they're still theirs. This would be ideal for Wanda. This would be extremely compelling, and since Wanda's already went on a massive killing spree trying to get her kids, we know that she definitely will stop at nothing to get her kids back. Now, at the end of the movie, of course, she kind of came to her senses a little bit, but if Kang presents himself as a somewhat decent guy and she doesn't really know that he's a villain, then she could definitely be compelled to join him. Here's the thing, though. It doesn't come without a price. Kang isn't simply going to just give Wanda technology and allow her to travel the multiverse and through time. That's too dangerous for him to do. So he's going to have to control her to make sure that she's always going to be on his side and he's definitely going to use her to fight the Avengers, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Four, and everybody else who is going to join in the battle against Kang in the Kang Dynasty. Now, for those who may be mad that Wanda could possibly still be a villain, if this rumor is true, I think I know how it could turn around. But first thing to keep in mind is that Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, is, as far as we know, a Nexus being. In the Marvel Comics universe, Nexus beings are super, super rare. They are entities who have the ability to affect probability in the future, and they can alter the flow of the universal time stream affecting not just one universe, but the entire multiverse itself. And these Nexus beings are super crucial to the coherence and the stability of the entire multiverse. And since Kang is the conqueror, since he has conquered time, essentially, he has to know this. And if he doesn't, he's probably going to find this out, which is going to be why he wants Wanda so dearly, because he has no reason to give Wanda what she wants, and he doesn't have a reason to help her unless he knows what she can do for him. And that is, take out his enemies. But keep in mind, his enemies aren't just the Avengers and the rest of the heroes, but also other variants of Kang. Remember, the Kang that we met in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, he got stuck inside of the Quantum Realm because the other Kangs exiled him. And when Janet Van Dyne asked him what he was going to do when he escaped, he said, win. So Kang could definitely use the help of the Scarlet Witch to defeat his multiversal variants. And by offering Wanda such a huge incentive, him helping her get her children back, that's enough for Wanda to kind of join Kang. But fear not, because I do believe that ultimately, like in the end of Multiverse of Madness, Wanda will end up good. Kang might trick Wanda at first, that's how he could get her to join him. But I'm assuming that, of course, ultimately, Wanda is going to figure out what is going on, especially if he has her try to attack the Avengers. It's one thing for him to say, hey, I have evil variants, I need you to help kill them, but another to say, hey, we gotta kill the Avengers, when she knows that the Avengers are good. So one would assume that eventually Wanda would realize that the fate of the entire multiverse is in jeopardy. And then, of course, I would assume she would abandon Kang and fight with the Avengers. And I actually think she might be a key player in helping restore the multiverse eventually. I think she's going to have a key role in messing it up, but I think she's going to get a pretty big redemption arc by helping restore it with a few key people. One, I think, is going to be, of course, Doctor Strange. And two, Reed Richards. In the comics, Reed Richards is the one who ends up restoring the multiverse. Now, they never do anything exactly like the comics do in the MCU. So I'm sure it's going to be somewhat of a group effort to restore the multiverse in Secret Wars. And that could be Wanda's big redemption arc from being a villain, and we could finally have a good Wanda in the MCU if she continues on past Secret Wars. But if this rumor is true and Wanda could be fighting alongside Kang in Avengers Kang Dynasty, I want to know what you all think about this. I think it would be cool, and I think it would absolutely make sense, but leave us your thoughts in the comments down below. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. You can always follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf. Please subscribe, like this video, have a great day, and see you guys. Bye.